Hi guys, it's Rick Shields, PJ Golf Professional, and this is the complete driver guide. This is part four in the series, and this is all designed to help you hit your driver better. If you're an established golfer, if you are brand new to the game, driver is always a pain for a lot of people. And this series is all designed to help you hit the golf ball way better with driver, better than you ever have done before. If you want to see any of the other parts, they're up here in the corner. I've done an overview, then we then talked about setup, I've just covered backswing and this is all going to be about downswing and impact and how we can still deliver all that effective power we've just created in the backswing and deliver it actually hitting into the golf ball with driver. We're then going to follow up with a follow through video as well, that'll be coming next, but all the links up here in the corner, you can watch them already on my YouTube channel. So what we've covered so far in setup and what we've covered so far in backswing is very much designed to allow us to create speed and to stay slightly more behind the golf ball. So when we come in to hit, we're gonna hit up into the back of the ball. So now it's our job in how we come down into the shot and how we make impact into the golf ball to keep that angle of attack on the way up. So this is, how, this is where the, the magic happens. This is where we're gonna really hit some great drives now. Once we've gone through the setup and we're more behind the golf ball, we've got that upper body tilt, and we've moved into our backswing with rotation, moving the weight slightly into the right heel and staying behind the golf ball more. It's now a case of allowing the body's rotation, all of that rotation that you've created in the body to unwind while you're maintaining this tilt in the upper body. So you're maintaining the tilt in the upper body as your hips and your body rotates through. And this is going to allow us to stay behind the golf ball at the point of contact and hit up into the ball as opposed to getting to the top of the swing, hitting with the arms, which makes the angle of attack much more down and much further to the left, which not only affects how we actually strike driver, it also affects the shot shape of the driver, which end up slicing it too much. And don't forget, this series is all designed about hitting driver, actually hitting it well. Direction wise, there might just be a couple of little flaws in there that we can iron out. But first off, it's about how we actually hit driver really well first. If done well, this should all work out, you're hitting it straight. But there'll be other little factors in there which we will talk about, even I'll cover a bit more in this video right now. So as I've got to the top of my backswing and I've rotated around that right heel, rotated my torso, my shoulders, my lower body, and I'm slightly more behind the golf ball, it's now a case of keeping that body shape and keeping that extension of the golf club as I go through the shot. And that's gonna help that driver sweep much more up on the golf ball. You'll notice as I come into the golf shot here that my shaft angle is coming back through almost as straight as we started the shot. Unlike irons, where we actually try and get the shaft a little bit more this way, in driver, we actually want to keep that shaft coming through relatively level so that we keep the loft high and that we strike up on the golf ball. So, I've rotated to the top of my backswing, I'm unwinding my body, I'm allowing that golf club to hit up into the back of the ball while keeping this body tilt, while keeping my, from my belt buckle to the top of my head, I'm keeping that tilt behind the golf ball. And you'll see this in the shot, my head will stay more behind the golf ball as I come into impact. See, I've kept the body behind the golf ball there as I've come in to hit the shot and I've hit up into the back of the golf ball. I stayed behind and I've moved up into the back of the golf ball. That's such an integral part of what we're trying to cover here. Now, one of the other big factors I really want you to look at is strike location on the driver. I talk about strike a lot in the videos that I create because it is so important and a lot of golfers unfortunately just overlook it and believe anywhere on the face will work. Drivers have become more forgiving these days, without question, but you've still got to hit a certain spot on the driver face. What I would massively advise everybody watching is go out and get some of the athlete's foot powder spray. 
spray it on the club face, it leaves a white mist on the face, and hit me golf shots and notice where your patterns actually are. You'll see the best players, the better players, their pattern and their grouping will actually be quite tight. You'll see a higher handicapper, their grouping and their scatter can be very spread across the face. This can also influence direction enormously. If you hit too much in the heel, the shot shape is gonna have more of a curvature with a fade, the slice, if you hit the heel. If you hit the toe, it's actually gonna have more of a curvature towards the left. If you hit low on the face, it's actually gonna have more of an effect of starting low and starting to rise up, spinning up too high. If you hit too high on the face, it might pop up too high with low spin. Higher and slightly towards the toe is absolutely perfect. If we can get there, you'll get good spin characteristics, you'll get fantastic height, and you'll get the distance without too much curvature as well. So strike location is really key. So big important aspects on the actual impact and moving the golf club down, coming down. Once you've rotated and moved into that right foot, we're trying to unwind the body, unwind the hips, and hit more up into the back of the golf ball without moving the weight too dramatically towards the left. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the final part, which is the follow through, which is just gonna tidy up all of the little loose ends we're gonna be mentioning once you've hit through and talking a little bit more about the eventual weight shift of the driver shot as well. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. If you are, hit that thumbs up button, comment below. Which bit of it are you enjoying the most? Which bit has made the biggest influence? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new to it as well. Stay tuned, follow through video coming, well, it's already up there. Click the link, you can watch it now. But as always, take some time to ingest, digest this information and make it work for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.